What is an image backup? Hi everyone, Leo Notenboom here for AskLeo.com. If you're watching this on YouTube, be sure and of course subscribe to the channel. But if you find this video helpful or interesting, make sure to hit that like button. It'll help other people searching for information on YouTube to find what they're looking for. So backup terminology or the various terms that we use when we start talking about backing up your computer are some of the barriers to a lot of people getting their head around just what it means to back things up. There are a number of terms that aren't really obvious that are foreign to many people. So what I want to do is I want to take several of those terms and spend a little bit of time talking about what they mean and why they're important and when they apply to the kinds of backups that I talk about. The term we're going to start with is an image backup. Now, the very short version of an image backup is that it is a copy of everything on a hard disk. And I mean that quite literally. It is a copy, so it's a separate entity somewhere else, of everything literally everything on a hard disk. The overhead information, the programs, your data, your settings, your uh, installed applications, everything you can think of that might be on that hard disk is part of an image backup. Now, one of the things that confuses people a lot is the difference between an image backup and a clone. Now, this is in part the industry's fault because a lot of people use the terms interchangeably or they use them, well, in my case, in, in my opinion, backwards. So here's what I believe the correct or at least the most common definitions are. And these are the definitions that I use when I talk about an image backup and a clone. An image backup, as I said, is everything on your disk. It's all the files, all the folders, the operating system, the boot information, everything. But it's only all of the information on the disk. In other words, all the empty space isn't bothered to back up. There's no need to save the space on the disk that isn't used. So an image backup will be proportional in size to the amount of data that's on your disk. Even if you have a terabyte disk, if it's only got 100 megabytes of data, then an image backup is going to be around 100 megabytes, plus or minus, depending on compression and a few other things. A clone is a bit for bit copy of the entire disk surface. So what that means is, yes, of course, it has all of the files, all of the folders, all of the data, all of the boot information and more, but it also includes anything that happened to be written to disk in all of that free space. And the order of the information on the disk is preserved. So that means that your one terabyte disk is going to generate roughly a one terabyte clone. Again, plus or minus, depending on compression that might be used in the algorithm. But the bottom line is it's proportional to the size of the media not the size of the information stored on the media, because it's actually containing everything, even the space that isn't used. There's still some more confusion. Not every image is the same. If we take a look at a common hard disk, you'll see that there are what are called partitions. A single physical hard drive can be broken up to quote unquote, look like more than one drive. In the example here on the screen, you'll see that there's a recovery partition, uh, a system partition, both of which are relatively small. And then of course, a big C drive, a C partition that is the data you and I consider to be the disk. An image can be either an image of a single partition, in other words, everything in that partition, or it can be the entire hard disk. Now, I strongly recommend that when you're backing up your machine, you don't worry about partitions. You back up the entire hard disk because you don't know what you might need. That's the joy. That's the benefit of using an image backup. You don't have to make any decisions about what's going to go into the image. It contains everything. So when it comes to the point of making this decision about should I image just a few partitions or should I image the whole thing? 
image the whole thing. So when you're creating your backup, you'll see that your backup tool is going to give you some options about what to backup. Here's a picture of Macrim Reflex selection. It allows you to select just which partitions or which disk you want to back up. The number twos here are all check marks that allow you to specify individual partitions. However, that number one check mark, that's the entire disk. If you check it, well, automatically all of those number twos are going to get checked because they're all included when you're doing the entire physical disk. And it's number one that I think is the most important that when you back up a hard disk, you back up everything, all of the partitions and anything else. That's why I think an image is so incredibly important compared to other approaches. Other approaches have you pick and choose what to back up, be it only back up certain partitions or only backing up certain files and folders on your hard disk. That's great if you know what you're doing or if you're absolutely positive you've chosen the right things to back up. All too often, well, to be honest, all too often we don't know what we're doing. All too often we don't make the right choice. And unfortunately, the impact of that bad choice isn't apparent until after when it's time to use some information, when it's time to recover from a backup and you find that what you hoped was backed up was not because you made an incorrect choice. By backing up an image, you have a backup of everything. You can make image backups using any of a number of different tools. Certainly, Microsoft includes an image backup utility in Windows. It's the Windows 7 backup tool, even if you're running Windows 10. Unfortunately, Microsoft has announced that they are deprecating that particular tool, and at some point in the future, it's going to disappear. You can use it now. You don't need to get anything else, but it is something that is not long for this world. My recommendation for that and a couple of other reasons that you use a third party tool. I have two that I recommend. One is ESA's to do. The other is Macrium Reflect. Both of them have free versions. Both of these free versions will allow you to make complete system image backups of your hard disk. And both of them will allow you to restore that system image should you ever need to. I hope this is helpful. I hope that helps you understand exactly what an image backup is and is not. For updates, for comments, for links related to this article, visit askleo.com slash 129675. I'm Leo Notenboom. This is askleo.com. Thanks for watching.